I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting optimization question. A man in a boat at a location 5 miles from the nearest point on the straight beach wishes to reach a place 5 miles along the shore from that point in the shortest possible time. If he can row at a rate of 4 miles per hour and run 6 miles per hour, where should he land? So in such cases, first thing is, let's make a sketch, right? Let's say this is the beach and the person in question is somewhere here, right? Let's say, well, it's five miles away. So this distance from here to this place is five miles. So let me write five miles here, right? So this is five miles. Now he wishes to reach a position which is five miles down, right? So let us say this position is five miles down so this is in all five miles down right now where should he land that means the person in question can actually go straight and then run or he could go diagonally straight to the end point or it is possible that may go somewhere in between and then run so these are the possibilities so let us assume for the time being that the option taken is this one going diagonally so that the person lands x distance away from that point in that case this distance to run will be 5 minus x correct so let us assume that to be the situation now in this particular situation uh, what could be the value of x well the value for x could be either it is 0 that means the person lands just right there or it could be 5 that means a person can go diagonally right so these are the boundary conditions for x now during rowing the speed is 4 miles per hour right 4 miles per hour so this is 4 miles per hour now and the running speed is 6 miles per hour so what is going to be the time so the total time will be rowing distance so this distance is to row which will be x square plus 5 square square root right so this distance is you can see x square plus 5 square square root so that is this distance and as you know we can make a triangle relating distance speed and time so let me do it here so that is the kind of triangle which we can use we say distance d speed time so if we want to find time, it is ratio of distance and speed. So distance for rowing is square root x square plus 5 square, right? And the speed is 4 miles per hour. And therefore, that divided by 4 miles will give us the time for rowing. For running, the distance is 5 minus x. So it would be 5 minus x divided by the running speed, which is 6. So that is how you can get a relation between time and one variable x, position of landing, right, which is in question. So it says where should he land? So that is the position x, right? Now to find the minimum time, what we should do is we can find derivative with respect to x, right? So let's find the derivative. So this is square root. So we have 1 over 4. Let's write 1 over 4. Square root means half times x square plus 5 square to the power of minus half. So let me write this as square root of x square plus 5 square times derivative of numerator which is 2x. Right. Plus. Here the derivative will be uh, minus 1 over 6. Right. So we get minus 1 over 6 as the derivative of the second part. Now, for the minimum distance, for the critical point, that derivative should be equal to 0, right? So, that is for critical point. So, for critical point or critical number, we have to equate that to 0. Now, this is 0. That means we need to simplify this particular equation. So, let's kind of simplify it here itself and then we'll do. So, 1 over 6, let's bring it on this side. So, 1 over 6 should be equal to, so what do we get here? x divided by 4 times square root of x square plus 5 square. Now we can actually uh, cross multiply also or we can simplify here so we can divide both by 2 so we get 2 here and 3 here correct 
n then we will cross multiply so we get 2 square root of x square plus 5 square equals to 3x Correct. now we can square both sides and find the value of x using the quadratic equation correct so that is what we are going to do next so we if we square both sides we get 4 times x square plus 5 square equals to 9x square so that is that is the question which we need to simplify further so let's simplify this equation so we have 9x square we'll bring 4x square to the right side so we have 4 times 5 square so we can write 25 times 4 which is 100 right so we have 4 times 5 square or let me write like this 4x square plus 4 times 5 square equals to 9x square now bringing this on the right side 5 square is 25 25 times 4 is 100 so we get 100 equals to 9x square minus 4x square or 100 equals to 5x square so that is 20 right dividing and square root 20 is x right so x is square root 20 for us so the critical number is x equals to square root of 20 what we can do now is find time for different values of x one x could be 0 the other one will, will be x equals to 5 and x equals to square root 20 so if x equals to 0 then what is the value of t so t will be equals to we'll put x 0 here so we get square root of 5 square over 4 plus 5 over 6 right so so that is when x is equals to 0 if x is equals to 5 then we get t equals to if I put 5 here in that case we have 5 square plus 5 square divided divided by actually I should write divided by 4 and if I write 5 here that is 0 right so this is 0 and now we can also put as 20 square root in that case time will be equals to square root of x square is 20 right 20 plus 5 square and everything divided by plus 5 minus square root of 20 divided by 6 so these are different possibilities let us find all these answers right so the first one here is 5 square over 4 with this square root so it's 5 over 4 let me do 5 divided by 4 equals to plus 5 divided by 6 equals to we get uh, 2.083 so this gives us let me write in a different thing we get this as equals to 2.083 right now the next one here is for x equals to 5 so we have within square root 5 square so we have square root 5 square plus 5 square which is equals to 5 square root 2 divide by 4 equals to right so that is the answer let's convert to decimals we get 1.7677 and the last one here is 20 plus 5 square within square root so we'll do square root 20 plus 5 square equals to divided by 4 equals to plus 5 minus square root 2 so we'll do within brackets let's do 5 minus square root 20 square root 20 okay um, then we'll close the bracket divide by 6 divide by 6 equals to so that gives us answer as equals to 1.765 right it's very close but it is shorter than that so so I actually kept it square root 20 for a reason and that is this particular answer you can see it is so close right at the third decimal place this time is lower than the other time right square root 20 is definitely a very small value so what is the square root of 20 square root of 20 is equals to 4.47 right so square root of 20 this is equals to 4.47 miles right so that much miles is where the person should land right so so that gives us the shortest time at x equals to square root of 20 so our answer here is x he should land 
4.47 miles you can write 4.47 miles from that point or you could write square root 20 miles right so that is how you will find the answer for this question i hope that helps thank you and all the best